Kurt Davis here again with Real Estate Wealth Coaching. And today we are going to be talking about, from the wholesaling standpoint, proof of funds and earnest money. How does a wholesaler overcome these things uh, when they're just getting started? So before I get into that though, uh, if you're new to our channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, after watching this video, if you like it, click the like button. You might as well just go ahead and hit the like button now because you're going to like the video. Feel free to share this. Tell somebody about it. Leave a comment when you're done. Let us know what you liked, didn't like. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. So with that being said, uh, when wholesalers first start getting started, you know, there, there's a lot of different ways to do wholesaling. And I've got my own philosophy on this, but... One of the things that I've, and the reason what kind of prompted me to want to make this video today is I'm, I'm a part of a lot of real estate groups on Facebook. And I've seen a lot of people ask questions like, uh, it'll be something like, hey, the seller is asking to see my proof of funds letter and I don't have one. How do I overcome that? Or uh, I've the seller has agreed to accept my offer, but they want earnest money. How do I overcome that? And <clears throat> I think that to help lower the percentage of that happening, you need to approach it completely different on the front end. Um, what I think needs to happen is, is when, you're, when you're working with these sellers, a lot of wholesalers come across as if they are the actual buyer of the property. So if you've got a semi-competent, savvy seller, they're naturally gonna think of earnest money or we wanna see your proof funds. We wanna know that you can buy the house. So if you are, coming across as if you're the buyer, naturally they may ask for these things. <clears throat> I would suggest coming at this from a completely different angle. Uh, I feel if you're going to wholesale and you know that you don't have the money and you have no intention of closing on this, uh, that you need to approach it as if you're trying to help them. You're going to help them sell the property. So a lot of wholesalers do feel uncomfortable coming across because uh, there's a there's a tiny fib here. It's not tiny. I guess it is a fib because you don't want to portray you're the buyer when you know that you're not. So uh, what I'm going to teach you in this video should help relieve a lot of that uncomfortable feeling of fibbing. Let's just call it what it is. So I approach it as follows, and there's there's a couple sentences that I use, and and it's something that I I speak to the seller on the phone and then I also say it again when I'm in person so rather than act like you're the buyer you're now wanting to help them so I've actually got a key phrase here and it's it kind of goes along like this and you might want to watch this video slow it down record it write this down uh, you'll eventually want to change this and alter it to what works for you but I approach it something like this Hey John, we're going to pretend that the seller's name is John. John, as you know, I work with a large network of cash buyers locally as well as for all from around the country. And I want to take the opportunity to present your property to them for the next 30 days or 60 days, however long of time frame you can get on the contract. So I want to, I want to have the opportunity to present your property to them for the next 30 days if I can't secure an all-cash buyer within the next 30 days, we can either part ways as friends, or maybe we could look at reducing the price, and I can put it back out to my cash buyers again. Simple enough. A couple sentences right there. What you have just done there is you have told the seller that, number one, you are not the buyer. You've just told them you're not the buyer. And number two, you want to help them sell the price. You have also made it so that if you are not able to bring a cash buyer and the deal doesn't go through, that you can walk away as friends. Because what a lot of wholesalers do who come at this from the angle of, hey, I'm the buyer, well, what happens when you put the house under contract for 30 days and you can't bring a cash buyer? What a lot of wholesalers do is they turn their phone off, they change their number, they stop answering the calls from that seller who's calling them trying to find out why they're not closing. Uh, you don't want to do that. That that gives you a bad reputation. It, it hurts the business in general. So at this point in time, it allows you to it, it allows you to walk away. Uh, and if you approach this correctly from the front end, you know, with using the the sentences that I gave you, 
uh, it can truly change your business. Um, so that's kind of it with that. It's just listen to this video a few times, write it down, change it so that it works for what makes you comfortable. You know, if you can approach this from the standpoint that you're helping the seller, they're going to feel a lot more comfortable and it may reduce the possibility of the seller asking for earnest money or proof of funds because you have just told them that you are not buying the home. But then you're still going to put the house under contract at the price that you agreed. And if they say something like, well, how are you going to make money if, if, I, if I want $50,000 for the house, how are you going to make money? Uh, and just be real with them. Tell them that you're going to put a slight markup on top. It's how business is done. Uh, and then you put you still put the home under contract like you normally would so you so nothing changes there It's just the way you approach this the way you word everything. So uh, Hopefully this is a, a tip that you find valuable uh, Especially if you're wholesaling this is this is going to be huge. It's going to change your game So with that being said if you like this video hit the like button If you've already subscribed to the channel great if not click the subscribe button Make sure to share this with your friends anyone that you know who's wholesaling and leave a comment. I'd love to know what you think. So we will see you guys in the next video.